folks. So just to uh, show you a little okay, it's kind of tip for like getting more privacy uh, through the on-screen keyboard. Uh, I'll just kind of show you how to, you know, if, you, if you're projecting your uh, surface screen on a display, let's say you're in like a business meeting or anything like that, or let's say you're on a train uh, with Wi-Fi or you're in an internet cafe or anything like that, you can, you can go, I'll go into, I'll go into Mozilla. Mozilla, I'll, I'll, I'll go into Gmail, right? Gmail. Gmail. Right. I'm going to password. On that. Now you see this little uh, blue button down at the left hand side, right? If you, it should be normally uh, when you come on to do your password or whatever like that, it'll be with, uh, it'll have like little kind of rays coming out of it, like light rays. Basically what that does is, if you're using the on-screen keyboard, and I'll use it just now, let's say I'm typing, I'm typing something on, I'm typing something like Bob, it'll, whatever keys you touch, right, it will light them up. So if, what you can do is, once you press that, right, I'll just delete all that, type in Bob again, it's also a lot harder to read uh, what's being typed on the on-screen keyboard or if, you know, you're just displaying it on uh, through a projector or like a monitor screen or whatever and you don't want people to see you you typing in your password or, or whatever, just press that button and that'll stop the, the light coming up so, you know, they won't see what is being pressed. Uh, the same, it just makes it a lot harder as well. If, you know, if someone's looking over your shoulder or you're sitting next to someone on the train or whatever, you know, and you're sitting like typing away, you don't really want them to be, you know, finding out your passwords or anything like that. So it, it's quite a, a, a neat feature, especially if you're out in pl uh, public or anything like that. It's more like for like security and stuff. So I'll just to uh, show you how you can take a screenshot uh, without using your keyboard. And it's, it's actually really, really simple. All you have to do is uh, press the Windows key and the volume down button on the left hand side of your surface at the same time. You know, it can be quite tricky sometimes, you know, you can uh, do it by mistake and press the either or uh, faster than the other and it'll take you to like a menu or whatever. But uh, once you do it, it should dim the screen, so it's right now. As you can see, dimmed the screen there, so it's taking a screenshot. I'll try it again. Yep. And again, so that's three, uh, and I'll show you where you can get them. All you have to do is go into like your users, uh, your user uh, folder, and if you go into pictures and go into screenshots, the screenshots that you've taken of your screen will be sitting in there. So it's 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 really easy to find them as well. Right, I'll just go ahead and show you a, a neat little trick you can use it, if, especially if you use the start menu quite a lot. Uh, you can actually kind of go in the categories and stuff like that, uh, for especially for like your, again, your installed apps and all that kind of stuff. So if scroll down, I'll just kind of show you, I and mean, it's better kind of showing you than explaining to you. It's, it's, you'll understand it more once I show it to you. So let's say, you know, you've got your apps by, you know, you've got them by name or whatever like that. And you can, what you can do is if you pinch out on the start screen, it'll take you to, you know, a kind of like a menu like this. So it makes it a lot easier, especially if you've got a lot of apps. And you know, if you, you use the, the the start menu quite a lot if you're using the metro side of things quite a lot I mean you can do it by category as well like food and dining games all that kind of stuff you can zoom it out and you can you know especially if you've got a lot of apps it makes it a lot easier for kind of getting in between stuff or like like date by date installed you know you can just pinch it out again and like let's say something last week and it'll take you to like last week's ones and it'll show you like last week's down there and that's that's basically it like it's it's quite a simple one but it, if if you already know this you know I'm sorry for kind of telling you, but for anyone that doesn't know about it, you know, it can be quite a handy thing. Now, this tip that I've got, it's it's more to kind of, you know, if, if you do a lot of, like, uh, backups while you're uh, running your surface or anything like that, you know, you do a lot of business-related things, and, you, you know, you like to do backups while you're working, uh, and, you, you, you know, you like that kind of stuff to... Uh, run faster like the background services and all that kind of stuff. There is a way to do it and you can also do it for uh, program files as well. Windows uh, usually allocates uh, like uh, programs or whatever, you know, it'll usually give it them uh, the most uh, of the CPU resources so uh, you know if it shouldn't really have much of an effect if you're doing it for that. So I'll just show you what you do. All you have to do is uh, right click on the start menu, go to control panel, uh, panel even, system and then go to system again, system is good, it's system, sorry, and then go advanced system settings, go into settings, and then if you go into advanced, it'll show you processor scheduling. Now, what it'll do, you know, adjust for best performance of program, so, you know, if you're running Photoshop or whatever like that, you know, it'll it'll make it perform better because it'll 
allow Windows to give it more of the CPU uh, resources than it would to background of, uh, services like um, exchanging files or whatever like that or uh, backing up. So I mean if, if you want uh, your background services like backing up files or whatever like that to run quicker or you want them, uh, you know, if you want it to run uh, faster, you know, if you're, for, if you're doing uh, anything kind of business related, uh, you can just click on background services and click apply and the same goes for programs. I use that for programs because I do quite a lot of kind of gaming on my Surface Pro. Uh, so I mean that's about it, you know, it's just a little tip just to, it might, it might make it, it won't be like major performance increases but you know it is is enough to kind of make things a little bit quicker you know if that's what you're after